<laughs> that was that was just something spontaneous that came out of my mouth. Yeah. What was your favorite Crazy Days and Nights reveal? Do you guys have a what's um, the best one you ever? Well, it never happened, but there was a story that the girl that Don, the the child prostitute, that Don Henley, like, because you know he killed one of them overdosed, and then the other one just became like a runaway or whatever. Do you know the story? I remember the Don Henley thing was like a big, a big, pretty, gr wasn't it pretty gruesome? He was, like, was it handsy? Was he, was he well, rifling wasn't punches? Handy. You know the song Dirty Laundry? I thought it was a girl OD'd no. at his house, they're, right? They're, they're like, a child. You know, like, I make my living on the evening news. You know the song? Keep going. Give me something. <laughs> that was pretty good. Something I can use. <laughs> I don't know. People love it when you lose. They love dirty laundry. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know it now. It's so, a great song. Amazing song. And it's about him killing a 15-year-old girl. <laughs> And, and KTLA not shutting up about it. I'm feeling inspired. Yeah. <laughs> How fucking coke mirror do you have to be to fucking wake up and fucking It was the those? 80s, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the 80s. It was that's the when, 80s. That's when, when you're just like rock and suffocating roll. a 15 year old. Yeah, yeah, that was the time. That's man. what makes rock and roll. Yeah. Three, baby. <laughs> but here's the thing that's, that's, one of, <laughs> that's one of the few songs that comes out of the late 70s that actually has any heart behind it. You know, it's not just some like ironically detached bullshit. Things were either heady or meaningless. That's yeah. the only thing that, like, you know, Don Henley spoke from his heart when he was like, get off my back. Yeah, I murder kids. <laughs> that's, well, that's what Leave makes, me alone. You, you know, if you, look, if you don't want to know how the sausage is made, stay the fuck out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> how am I going to hammer out fucking hits like this yeah. when you guys are busting my balls over here? If I want to choke a fucking a freshman, a high school freshman, let me. Yeah. I don't know if he was handsy, but the story is he got two prostitutes, a 15-year-old and a 16-year-old, just little street walkers, and he brought them uh -huh. up to his house in the hills, and then... One of them overdosed. He had to call the police, and the police show up, but also his manager and like a bunch of like you know cleanup crews basically. And he just said there was like twenty seven grams of cocaine. He was like, "Yeah, that's the girls." <laughs> it's like, yeah, this, yeah, it's a fifteen year old has what is what is that thirty thousand dollars worth of fucking <laughs> cocaine? She's <laughs> fucking wicked good drug yeah, dealer, yeah, right? Yeah, just some massive amount of cocaine he pinned on like the 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 little girl. And then they, you know, they just like scooped the kids out of there. The the one girl that overdosed, I think she like she survived that night. They brought her back to life, and then she wound up. They found her dead under the one hundred and one, like maybe three months later. But mm. you know, they cleaned up the whole thing, like the yeah, way, yeah, the way you know. And uh, and there was yeah, there was a, a reporter at KTLA that wouldn't drop the story. She kept reporting on it, and it's like, why isn't he facing charges? Why isn't anything happening with this? He's fucking strutting around the Beverly Hills Hotel, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mimosa. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got a ten-year-old in a headlock. But but yeah, crazy days and nights. They had a blind item that I guess the other girl, yeah, she had had, had grown up and fucking made made something of her life and got married to a politician who I'm sure didn't have his own dirty <laughs> fucking laundry. He's like, that's nothing. Yeah, I steamrolled a fucking kindergarten class one. Time. Yeah, dude, the Eagles, man. Yeah, How, they couldn't. They couldn't come back from that. Yeah, they were. The, they were America's first boy band. You know that? Yeah, they were like. Uh, they didn't like. Uh, some some label put them together. A gay man put them. Is together. It, a gay it, guy. It, yeah, it's the old Jewish gay man. His guy. It like would that be too. cute if you were on the guitar. Shake your little booty <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the Mr. Tambourine Man. Go on a diet, you 